If you're a senior or someone who relies on state pensions, social security, or other financial assistance programs, you absolutely cannot afford to miss out on the crucial updates we provide. In future videos, I'll be sharing the latest information on potential pension cuts, new state benefits, and critical payments that could make or break your financial security. With everything changing so quickly, staying updated is your best chance to avoid missing out on vital support. Don't let important news slip through the cracks subscribe now, and be the first to know what could impact your wallet in your future. You need to be in the loop when the next big payment comes, or when new legislation could bring you relief. Hit that subscribe button I promise, you'll be glad you did when you get the next important update first. Your financial future is too important to wait subscribe now and never miss an update that could change everything for you. The idea of a $1,395 check for Social Security and SSI recipients is a proposal that has garnered significant attention in recent months. As the U.S. continues to grapple with economic challenges, particularly inflation, the financial strain on seniors and low-income individuals has become more pronounced. Social Security recipients, many of whom are living on fixed incomes, have seen the purchasing power of their benefits erode over time while the costs of essentials like food, health care, and housing have only increased. Amid these pressures, lawmakers and advocacy groups are pushing for a fourth round of stimulus checks, specifically targeting seniors, to provide much-needed relief. This proposal for a $1,395 check is not just a one-time payment, but part of a broader conversation about the financial security of seniors, especially those dependent on Social Security and Supplemental Security Income, SSI. For many older Americans, Social Security benefits are their primary or sole source of income. However, the purchasing power of these benefits has not kept pace with rising costs, particularly in healthcare and everyday expenses. According to the Senior Citizens League, TSCL, the average Social Security recipient has seen their standard of living decline over the past two decades, as inflation has outpaced the increases in benefits. TSCL has been one of the leading voices advocating for additional payments to seniors. They argue that while Social Security and SSI provide critical support, they are no longer sufficient to meet the rising cost of living. A $1,395 check, which is in line with the third round of stimulus payments issued during the pandemic, could offer significant financial relief to millions of older Americans. This proposal is particularly relevant as healthcare costs continue to rise with many seniors forced to choose between paying for essential medications or other necessary expenses, like food or utilities. The reality is that many seniors are living on a fixed income, which leaves little room for flexibility. Even minor increases in expenses can have a disproportionate impact on their ability to make ends meet. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the prices of goods and services most commonly used by seniors, including food, transportation, and medical care, have been rising at a rate faster than the general inflation rate. For example, Medicare premiums have risen sharply in recent years, further exacerbating the financial pressures on seniors. Additionally, many seniors rely on Supplemental Security Income, SSI, which is designed to assist those with limited income and resources, but this benefit has also failed to keep up with rising costs. The proposed $1,395 payment would help bridge this gap. While it is not a permanent solution, it would provide immediate financial relief to those who are struggling the most. The payment would serve as a direct infusion of cash to seniors, allowing them to cover immediate expenses or save for future needs. Given the unpredictable nature of healthcare costs, this payment could be used to help pay for prescription medications, insurance premiums, or other critical healthcare expenses that many seniors face on a regular basis. At the same time, there are concerns about the long-term sustainability of Social Security and SSI. The COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the need for additional financial support for vulnerable populations, but it also underscored the challenges of a Social Security system that is underfunded and under pressure. As the population of older Americans grows, it is becoming increasingly clear that the current system may not be able to fully support all those who rely on it. The proposal for a $1,395 check, though beneficial in the short term, is part of a broader conversation about how to strengthen and sustain Social Security and SSI for future generations. 
Proponents of the $1,395 check argue that it's a necessary step to address the immediate needs of seniors, but they also call for broader reforms to the social security system itself. For example, the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare, NCPSSM, has advocated for increasing benefits and making the system more equitable. This includes adjusting the formula used to calculate social security benefits to ensure that they more accurately reflect the cost of living for seniors. The NCPSSM has also pushed for increasing the payroll tax cap, which would ensure that high income earners pay a fairer share into the system. Additionally, there are discussions around the potential for raising the minimum social security benefit, which would help lift more seniors out of poverty. According to the NCPSSM, Over 1 million seniors live below the poverty line despite receiving Social Security benefits. A higher minimum benefit would help address this disparity and ensure that seniors can maintain a decent standard of living throughout their retirement years. As lawmakers debate these proposals, it's important to recognize the broader context in which they are being considered. The pandemic exposed the vulnerability of many seniors, especially those in nursing homes, who were disproportionately affected by the virus. This vulnerability extended beyond health concerns to financial insecurity. The loss of family income, the closure of businesses, and the economic disruptions caused by the pandemic led to a dramatic rise in financial hardship for seniors. Many older Americans, particularly those on fixed incomes, found themselves unable to meet basic needs, forcing them to rely on government assistance programs like Social Security, SSI, and food assistance. The idea of a $1,395 check is part of a larger recognition that seniors face unique challenges that are not always addressed by traditional economic relief measures. While some may argue that the overall economy has rebounded, the reality is that seniors have been slower to recover. Many are still dealing with the fallout from the economic disruptions of the past few years. The proposed check would help alleviate some of the immediate financial stress, but it also shines a light on the need for long-term solutions that ensure seniors can live with dignity and security in their later years. At the same time, there are arguments against such payments, particularly regarding concerns about the nation's fiscal health. Some lawmakers, particularly those from more conservative factions, have raised objections to additional spending, citing concerns about the federal deficit and national debt. These concerns are compounded by the challenges of funding other critical programs, such as healthcare and infrastructure. While there is broad support for helping seniors, there is less consensus about how best to do so without creating further fiscal strain. It's important to note that, despite these objections, there is significant support for the proposal among senior advocacy organizations and lawmakers who recognize the unique financial challenges faced by older Americans. The economic challenges of today's world, including rising inflation and increasing healthcare costs, have made it clear that seniors need additional support. A one-time payment, like the proposed $1,395 check, could provide immediate relief while lawmakers continue to debate long-term solutions. The debate over the $1,395 check is just one example of the broader conversation about the future of Social Security and the financial security of seniors. While the proposal has not yet been passed into law, it is a step in the right direction. Seniors are a vital part of society, and ensuring their financial well-being is essential for a healthy, functioning community. If this proposal moves forward, it could provide relief to millions of Americans who are struggling to make ends meet. As the debate continues, seniors should stay informed and continue to advocate for their needs. The push for additional support is not just about a one-time payment, It's about ensuring that Social Security and SSI recipients have the financial resources they need to live comfortably and securely. The challenges of today's economy demand a response, and the proposed $1,395 check could be an important part of that response. As we look to the future, it's clear that the conversation about the financial security of seniors will continue, with the hope that lawmakers will take action to address the needs of this vulnerable population.